Welcome back to Two Bay Radio Shop. My name's Neve, and today's video is going to be the start of a new series that we're going to produce on this channel. The series is going to dive into different features of Two Bay Radios and how to use them. This first video is going to be focusing on the man down feature, which is for emergencies. So by law, all employers within the UK are required to protect their workers from harm and take precautions to eliminate any risk that workers might experience on site. So if you work in an industry where your employees work in isolation, in remote areas or dangerous environments, then you can really benefit from enabling the man down functionality on your two-way radios. The man down feature is designed to trigger an alarm that goes to central command or dispatch or other radio users when the device detects unusual or hazardous activity. So it's specifically designed to improve worker safety. If you have a construction worker working on site and he's climbing up a set of ladders, he's got his two-way radio clipped to maybe his pocket or he's got it clipped to his belt. If that worker was to slip and fall down them ladders and there was no one there to help him, if the radio fell with him, the radio would detect that this man has fallen and it will send out an alert for him without him having to be able to reach his radio. The way that man down works on a radio is that two-way radios have a tilt switch built into them. So when you enable man down in the programming on the device, you can set a critical angle that the radio has to be tilted past, as well as a, a duration that has to be past this critical angle. So if the radio was to fall um, past the critical angle and stay past the critical angle, for the predetermined amount of time um, without being returned back to the upright position. This will then trigger an emergency alarm to the other radio users or to central command. The man down feature isn't available on all devices, so if you are interested in having this to protect your workers, you would need to look for a radio that supports it. And the man down is enabled through the radio's programming. Within the programming, there is different um, features, so to speak, of man down that you can personalise to fit your the way that your workers would use the feature. So the three things that you can change about man down is the critical angle that the radio has to fall past to trigger the alarm, as well as the duration that it has to be at past that critical angle for, and um, the sensitivity of the device. I'm going to quickly run through the main benefits of man down to help us better understand why it's such an essential safety feature on our two-way radios. The first benefit is that in dangerous working environments or environments when you're on your own, the man down feature provides a crucial safety net for workers. When man down is enabled on the device and the emergency alarm is triggered, it minimises the time between, say, an incident taking place and help responding to the incident. If the person who was involved in the incident was unable to get to their device themselves and call for help, the device automatically does this for them by notifying central command or other radio users. When the emergency alarm comes through, it will show the ID number of the radio that initiated the alarm. And if you have GPS tracking enabled on your devices as well, it can give the um, location of the incident. In industries such as construction, security and healthcare, workers are often exposed to risky situations. Knowing that there's a safety net in place if anything were to occur can have a positive impact on the mental well-being of the worker. Um, it reassures them that help is readily available if they ever did find themselves in an emergency situation like that. Certain industries as well have regulations that require them to um, protect, have a certain level of protection for lone workers. Having man down enabled on your communication devices um, helps to meet the compliance of these standards. 
To use Mandown, you firstly need to make sure that the device that you have um, is compatible with Mandown and it is a feature that you can program into it. Secondly, you will need to activate Mandown within the programming on the device. There's three features in here that you can customise that I briefly mentioned earlier. So there is the critical angle, there's the duration that the radio has to be tipped past the critical angle, um, which can be any time limit that you think is necessary. And then the um, last thing that you can customise is the motion sensitivity. Our lovely engineering department has programmed these two devices for me so that I can do a demonstration for you how Mandown works in real life, so to speak. Um, for the sake of this video, I've had the duration that it needs to be set past to trigger the alarm set to just 10 seconds, um, just to make it quicker for us to see the response. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier, when the device is tipped on its side, there is a pre-warning for the user. So there's a 10 second pre-warning and then after that 10 seconds you'll hear a beep. If the user doesn't lift the radio up within them 10 seconds, there'll be another 10 seconds. And then at the end of them 10 seconds, then it will send the alarm. And this is built in to try and reduce false, um, false alarms being triggered. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn both of the radios on. So for the sake of today's demonstration as well, we have it so that man down is always activated, but you can also program it so that it has to be manually activated by the users. So man down is on. So what I'm gonna do is tilt the radio onto its side and we will hear the initial preset beep, which is for the user. And now if I don't lift this up um, within the next 10 seconds, it's gonna send out the emergency alarm that we will receive on the second device. So on the receiving device, it has come up with the, um, oh God, the information of the device that initiated the emergency call. So I'm going to show you what happens if you tip the radio and then hear the preset beep and then lift the radio up before the duration that will trigger the alarm, if that makes sense. So we've tipped the radio. And now we've heard that beep, if we lift the radio up, it won't set off an emergency alert. And like I said, this is to try and stop false alarms from happening. As with any new technology and features, there is always some um, perceived negatives that come along with them. With Man Down, um, there are a few things that put people off from using it. The biggest annoyance with Man Down is workers are reluctant to turn it on because it can trigger a false emergency alarm. A lot of workers, when they're using their radio, when they put it down, they just put it down on its back. They don't always stand it upright, um, which can trigger multiple false alarms a day. They also might not have the volume turned up loud enough where they hear the preset beep to warn them that it needs lifting up or it's gonna send an alarm. When that alarm's triggered, Central Command and other radio users aren't aware that that is a false alarm and they may send emergency response out to investigate or to facilitate the emergency. This in itself disrupts the work day and it can have a massive impact on the productivity of your workforce. To try and combat this from happening, some organisations may only have workers enable man down if they're going into a situation where they're working on their own or working in a dangerous environment to have it there as a safety net as opposed to having it turned on all of the time.
However, when you are doing this, you are depending on the work of remembering to turn on the feature, which they may not always remember to do. If they are forgetting to turn it on, then the feature isn't being used to its fullest potential to protect your workforce. This means that businesses will need to develop and implement a training plan for all workers so that they know how how to turn on the man down feature, how to use the man down feature, when to use the man down feature and how to disarm a false alarm if they do accidentally trigger one. However, the training sessions can be expensive, time consuming and they will take workers away from their day to day operations. And that basically brings our video to a close today. Um, I think the benefits of enhancing work and safety from man down are evident, but the potential false alarms and investment needed by a company to make sure it's being used properly um, do pose a massive challenge. In our opinion, with adequate training for the workforce, most businesses can maximise the man down features utility without any compromise to their daily operations. And our commitment here at Two Way Radio Shop is to empower users with the knowledge and understanding needed to harness the full potential of man down as a safety tool. If you would like to discuss how man down could benefit you and your workforce or how to implement it properly or help with training your staff how to use it and um, you can contact us at the details on screen now but that's it from us today if you have enjoyed please don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to our channel we put out educational and sometimes entertaining two-way radio content every other week and um, if you would like to ask questions and anything we've mentioned in today's video or suggest a topic for a future video please leave that in the comments down below and as always thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video